Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shernice and welcome back to Simply Niqua. So today, I have a flaming hot nail tutorial for you guys today to uh, see and maybe recreate yourself. So other than that, before we get started, go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also give me a like as well. I really appreciate it if you do. So other than that, let's go ahead and get started with this video. <laughs> Okay, you guys, to get started with this flaming hot nail tutorial, I want to start with a, a glitter base. So I applied one coat just for right now. I use Sally Hansen's Glitter Glam, and it's this nice type of glitter that will contribute to what I'm going to do on my nails, like have you seen on the, the thumbnail. But I just applied one coat for now because I might need some later on. So next, the main detail of the nails is a flame. And I'm going to apply flames on all of the nails. And so I am going to outline uh, the flame shape that I'm going to do. And I'm going to do it in blue. I love how the reference picture was in blue and not just in black. It's just a cool, different idea. So I used from the Koki Professionals. And it's called Atlantis at Last. And I used that blue for the outline. And make sure to set that blue to the side because you're going to need that later on to fix up the lines after I do some other things. So keep that on the side but with the liner brush, outline the flames in that blue. Once I made all of the outlines that I want to do to make the flame shapes on each nail, I am going to want to um, put a white base because I'm going to make a ombre flame colorway in the, in the middle of the blue outlines that I did. So I want to apply a white in the middle of that so all the colors can be opaque in itself. So the white that I used was LA Colors Color Last Evermore and I applied a good coat of that with an angled nail brush and apply that to all of the nails to make sure just be in the middle of the flames and it's okay if you go over the blue lines a little bit because you're going to go back over it so it's okay but um, I applied a good, a good one coat if not two um, in the middle of the flame shape. So after I did all the flame outlines in blue and filled it in with white, now I'm going to do this next step and it's crazy. So bear with me. I need the white to like chill for a minute and dry a little bit before I'm going to do this wonderful flame ombre situation on top. But I really want the just the glitter to be, you know, the glitter part and the flames only be the color of the nails so I don't want that color the ombre color to get, to get all over the glitter so my bright thinking was I'm going to apply some of that liquid latex tape stuff for your nails so I use Queen latex tape liquid peel off cuticle guard and I apply that onto the nail where the glitter is at. So all around the flames, I put that around there, even apply it onto the blue areas, um, trying my best to leave the white alone because you don't want it on the white because that's where you're going to put the ombre. So I did that for every nail and I let it dry. And you can tell it's drying because it has a it's more translucent color. Once I was happy with that white base, I am going to start with the ombre, this beautiful ombre that I did. So I took a makeup sponge wedge, my lovely makeup sponge wedge, and I applied four colors to make this ombre color of the flames. So the first color that I used on this ombre was a red, and I used the red from Koki Professionals, and this one is called Fearless, and I applied that right on top. Then I went on with an orange, I'm a more darker, deeper orange, which I used from Pure Ice, and this one is called Drive Me Crazy. And then right under that, I used a, a lighter orange, which I used from Salon Perfect, and uh, this one is called Sweet Peach Senegara. And the yellow that I'm going to use, which is going to be more at the tip, and the red is more at the top of the flame. So the yellow that I used was LA Colors Color Last, and it is called Upbeat, and you want to make sure to have the nice bright bright yellow 
once I got all of those colors horizontally on the makeup sponge wedge, I'm going to dab, 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 dab onto the nails to uh, color in the flames. And so I did about two to three, more like three dab sessions on each nail to get the nice opaqueness that I am looking for when, with the flame and with this design. So now I'm done with the ombre and it's the opaqueness that I want for each nail. I then went ahead and with some tweezers and pulled away all that liquid latex tape cuticle guard stuff off of the nail and surprisingly it did um, not get on the rest of the nail so I was so excited but I did like I said I had to go back in with that glitter again to fill any areas that the um, tweezers might have picked up and messed up a little bit so I went back with that glitter glam from Sally Hansen and to fill in more of that glitter on top because that represents the little sparks of the flames that you know you kind of have that sparky sparks of flames you know so that kind of resembles of that so I really really wanted that aspect that glitter to be on the nail so that's why I applied another coat so that's that second coat of the glitter on these nails so now it's time to go back to that blue that Cookie Professionals Atlantis at last and with your liner brush and to fix up all of those lines once again of the flames to read and find them and cover up anything of those white spots that didn't get covered with the ombre and just like to fix up the lines of the flames and make them more sharp and pointy and looking good and so that's what I did for this next step. <music> Once I've done that, I'm pretty happy with these nails. I'm falling in love with these lame nails. Like, <laughs> yes. So, I want to seal everything in and protect all of my uh, design work that I did. It looks so better once you put your top coat on. So, I then used my favorite top coat, which I used the Profex Quick Dry High Gloss Top Coat, and applied it onto every nail. So you guys, how do you like my flame nails? Like I have done other flame nails on my channel once before and I really wanted to redo a different type of flame nail and I'm really excited that I did these and these are so awesome. I'm so excited and proud of myself that I did these and they came out perfectly how I want them. So these nails are a little bit of a challenge but I think you can too, can do these nails yourself. So how about give it a try? Other than that, before you go and you made it this far in this video, go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed yet already. And if you're going to recreate these nails yourself and try them yourself, go down below and like this video, please. I will want to really know who's going to try these at home. Or just like this video if you really like how I did my nails this week. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I really do. So I will catch you back next week with something awesome. Something cool. So bye.